Cole is eight years old. When you look at Cole, you basically see a uh, young man that looks very normal. But we know tomorrow could be different. Cole could live this way for three or four years in complete remission, three or four more years, and then he could all of a sudden wake up one morning and not be able to walk. Cole is living on borrowed time. That's the only answer that we have for the reason that he's had to suffer so much is so he can reach out and touch others and help find a cure. And he does a good job of that. <laughs> Did you know I have a gecko? What's his name? Sparky. Sparky. Well, that'd be fun to have a gecko named Sparky. And what color is he? Uh, he's yellow, black, and white. Yellow, black, and white. And That's a little great. bit of purple. That's great. This place is cool. In your piggy bank. Yeah. I'm going to put in the first four quarters. Well, thank here, you. Here they are. You put them in. Thanks. So you got to start. Mr. Rainbow gave me four quarters, see? Wow. That's pretty neat. Mm -hmm. Okay, if he talks to you about opening a bank account, you say no, okay? <laughs> I want to open a bank account. You do? Hey, what's in here, Mr. Rainbow? And there are two combination locks. And I don't know either one of them. They won't let me open it. Then how'd you get in? Well, other people do know how. But he said you were the owner of the whole building. Well, I, come over here, Cole. I've got something special for you. Since you like the Sooner so much, I want to give you this Sooner Schooner. Well, this is for you, and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks. Well, that's a Sooner Schooner. Maybe you can drive the Sooner Schooner when you go to OU. And that's where I put it. That's better. He was happy, he was healthy when he was born. Does he bite? Only if he thinks, only if he thinks your fingers are warm. Everything was right. What is Crickets and yawns. When he was 22 months, he got a rash. He's about to shed. Let me see his tail. His tail is very fragile. Is it? And here's my rock collection. My Ganny found this, and when she gave it to me, it had an actual slug in it. So, again, I called the doctor, and I said, you know, this rash isn't getting better. There's something wrong. There's something wrong here. And he kept reassuring me, it's a rash. I mean, four or five times a day, his fever would go up to 106. It just really ravaged him very quickly. And finally on, we went home on a Thursday from the hospital. On Saturday, he couldn't walk. <laughs> there was a lot, of, uh, a lot of pain associated with it. So I took him back into the doctor and I said, there is something wrong with this little boy. He is not right. Finally, on the fifth day, they brought in um, a pediatric rheumatologist. And he looked at him and he said, well, I think that he could have systemic juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. We looked at the doctor like he was crazy. We were like, no, kids don't get arthritis. No one understands kids can have uh, arthritis. I didn't. That's an old people disease. <laughs> because Cole was so, so sick that we had to cancel his birthday party upon his request. He asked us to send everybody home, that he was in no mood to party at age four. Can you imagine one of your kids saying at age four, I don't want to party. I don't want to eat cake. That cake sitting on, on our counter for two weeks, and I finally threw it away because he couldn't eat it. He was too sick. My son's in a very select group when it comes to his disease. One out of every thousand children end up with a form of juvenile arthritis. Out of all the kids that have juvenile rheumatoid arthritis, only 10% get his disease. Which means that it affects his heart and his lungs and intestines, not just his joints. And out of those children, that 10%, only 5% ever get any kind of remission period at all. It's, it's tough to really 
answer your children when they're in pain. Um, you want to hold them, you want to cure them, but... You're going to have shots, you're going to have disgusting medicine. It's going to hurt. We've come a long way with research, but... One out of every four people end up with arthritis. And they are going to need help one day. They are going to want those medicines. They are going to want that research done for their grandchildren or for themselves or for their child. Like the Arthritis Foundation, which uh, is, goes a long way in, in helping little guys like my son and um, other little girls and, and boys. It's not over, not by a long shot. Every child deserves to live free of pain. It hurts. It just aches and stuff. And I can't walk or anything. Mortality, being associated with arthritis, who would have ever thought that? My mom said that arthritis could kill people. I got a lot of faith. <laughs> I gotta believe there's reason for everything. My son Cole has no reason to go through life with this type of pain, and I hope he never has to go through it again.